Hello viewers, me and team here. Welcome back to Let's Play Heroes of Might and Magic 5. In the last part, we became a clan lord, and so now we are going to properly lead a purple faction. Anyway, uh, just to rehash on skills here, um, expert enlightenment to go with advanced destructive. That does give us a little bit of mana padding, but not a whole lot right now. Uh, 45 of 60, still not horrible. Um, I'm getting the extra 60 from a plus one knowledge boost on um, from the town there. And otherwise, we're going to need to take another skill soon. Hopefully it's one of sorcery or logistics. Sorcery is absolutely critical and I'm surprised I don't have it yet. That really is surprising actually. Well, whatever. It is possible, <laughs> somewhat amusingly, to build Raylag completely for might. <laughs> I was tempted, actually. I was tempted to go with War Machines again and troll all, all my way through the campaign. And the reason for that is you, well, you'll see. It, it, the campaign is still possible if you do that. And that in doing that makes some maps easier and some maps much harder. But you can get through it. <laughs> And then, like, maybe dark magic or something. Just complete lulzy BS. But okay, week one rush, or <laughs> however early of a week we can get, right? So we start with a fairly well-developed town already. In fact, I see no need to develop it further. We even have a capital. So man, we are not a clan lord for nothing, apparently. Let's get our mage guild to level four. Why not? Let's see what we get in our mage guild. Meteor Shower, another useless circle of winter, summon creatures. Meteor Shower is good, however. We are rectifying the issue of lacking it. <laughs> so, um, obviously want to recruit them, them, them. Oh, we can just buy up everything. Lovely. A nicely located tattered flag right here. Perfect. And of course, the, the Guardians of the Mines, now that we're at level 12 and start with a fully stacked force, easier than before, absolutely. Why not? Why would we, uh, why would we have proper difficulty scaling, huh, game? That's just silly. Same thing with the Horned Overseers. I would have loved to have these defenders on my minds in the last map. I could have just destroyed this stuff with the Blood Furies. Come on, man. <laughs> well, such is the way of things, I suppose. I think this map is taking it as easy on us because of the next one. Man, I, I'm i tempted to do these battles just so I blow less mana. I am blowing mana like right and left in these auto battles. I think I will micro the plague zombies here. Oh, it's an alchemist lab. I know I'm supposed to get that. And I actually will do the seer's quest, but... Not before I'm going to kill some stuff, so, you know, no no hard feelings. This isn't going to be like HOM 3 where I just completely ignore the, the Seer's Huts. I admit that was kind of lame in retrospect. <laughs> Especially because they give good benefits sometimes. But this time, nah. Oh, whatever. So what if I'm out of mana now? Oh, it only raises. Okay. I will take an increase in my luck. More points in the luck skill. Ooh, lots of master hunters. Ah, how we used to fear ye. Oh, I only have three. You know what? I wish I had my magic. LOL. You know what, let's do that. Let's let's load up this autosave, properly micro the zombie battle, and then uh, flatten the master hunters with only the hydras. How does that sound? 
I'll actually uh, fight a battle here. Because there's no reason I have to use any magic here. In fact, we can just do uh, tried and true. It'll go faster than last time, too, because I have more Blood Furies, higher attack skill, and a higher level hero doing some damage per zombie getting close. And these things can't even morale hacks me. I like how I tried to micro that battle so many times, and I just decided, you know what, we'll just take the results of the quick combat, and got away with it. <laughs> last half. <laughs> Ugh. Pro. Just pro. I guess I was due one after the ridiculousness of the uh, necro finisher. I, I had to had to crap the bed a little bit, just a little bit of crap on the bed. Not too much, but some. Yeah, see, <laughs> this is much less painful. And why would we use magic when this is perfectly acceptable and easy to attain? Yeah, now I have 23 magic. That should be plenty for plowing through these master hunters. LOL. Okay. We'll see how it goes. And that's unfortunately spell power, not knowledge. Not that spell power is bad. In fact, I'm quite grateful for any stat up building I can get. So, I will take that happily. No, this is not necessary. I will show you, game, how to properly handle a battle by losing it. So who just attacked? So these two can still attack. 260. Oh, kind of derp, but, you know. It gets the job done. Yeah, that kind of ended any challenge in this battle. Oh, although, I should be careful because, yeah, they can kind of, you know, I'm actually going to run away. <laughs> Do half damage. Because now I can out-heal them. Whereas before I could not. In fact, I'm pretty close to recovering, so... That's getting kind of annoying to listen to. Nope. <laughs> really? It's alright. They're not going to be able to do anything now. Smack. <laughs> Better. Should be able to take out lots of Minotaurs, yeah. Who needs spell points anyway? <laughs> totally learned my lesson. No, but, I mean, come on. <laughs> the Master Hunters had it coming. Oh wait, did that improve my knowledge? Nope. It's just that spell power looks like knowledge now for no known reason. And there is a subterranean gate exit. I might as well. I'm not going to be able to get the dragon spire anytime soon, but most of this I can. I mean, this is a stacked town. You just hand one to you. <laughs> I guess I did build up the town a fair amount last time, though. And that was nice in the Undead campaign, too. You actually got to build up some un Undead towns. It took a while. Mission 1 didn't have any. And Mission 2, you had to capture one at range and only then start building it up. But then after that, you got to use Necro units, like, a lot. <laughs> I don't need to lose anything here. 
Hope you like Hydra's viewers. Okay. I don't think I need to go crazy on the mana usage. Uh, well, maybe I could go a little more crazy than that. What about Ice Bolt? Fine. Oh yeah, they can reach me no matter what. Okay. Ooh, I can kill seven. It is encouraging that they killed nothing. Probably my defense stat at work, and I did not mean to defend there. I kind of need not to do that. Oh wait, no, I can just Eldritch Arrow them. <laughs> DPS race! DPS race! Oh, shoot. They are winning it. But not for long. At this point, I am going to start winning it for obvious reasons. <laughs> there we go. Oh, excellent. Not passing up on that opportunity. Who knows, I might actually need gold. I could certainly take pathfinding. Wait, can I recruit heroes? Yeah, I can. I should have recruited one before. But whatevs. That way I can start shuttling units to him. Hmm. In fact, I could set up the relay by hiring another hero soon enough, so... Unfortunately, without Expert Earth Town Portal, that's how it goes. Who are you who grows large well, she was hard to find. to seek knowledge and power for my own gain but for your glory honest at least <laughs> if dangerous but knowledge is power why do you not content yourself with knowledge alone ancient secrets of Ashan lie undisturbed, waiting to be uncovered. Seek them out. Bring them to me. Right now I need power more than knowledge. Help me in my quest, and I shall help you in yours. You dare to bargain with the dragon? Realize will bargain with anything he can. I have already bargained to his demons and prophets. <laughs> Was that so? You do not fear me. I worship you. I fear nothing. You will one day. <laughs> you will fear that which you love the most. But go, hero. Come on, we can do without the tackiness. Saralam gave up his life, and Asha banished her own brother, Urgash. Interesting. A clan building a city around this relic cannot but prosper and grow. Unite the clans. Conquer 
your enemies and tithe unto me their knowledge, their secrets. Go. Okay. So we visited a daughter of Melassa. That was one of our quest items, obviously. And so we need basically to get the grail. <laughs> might as well just call it that. Oh, I might need this. Lots of earth elementals. Oh my. See what they got on them. Well, whatever. I really should have bought one hero sooner, but that's okay. Stop losing stuff. I'm pretty sure Earth Elementals are slow. In fact, this is yet another thing I remember fighting from the Demon Campaign. Come on, it wasn't that long ago. Yeah. Oh, and with their massive initiative penalty, this is going to be even more of a joke. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, but apparently the elementals can get morale. I don't think that's enough to help them in this case. Even though they are kind of spamming it on me. Nope, I screwed up. Start the turnover. My bad, viewers. Oh, don't tell me I have to watch the cutscene again. I guess they can just skip it. <laughs> uh. Yep. So you start running over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have to watch it again. Man, that was really painful. Okay, let's try and do this properly, shall we? As in, like, actually remembering that they can move five spaces. <sighs> At least we've gotten away from basic save scumming and back to my usual just reloading idiot misclicks and <laughs> miscalcs. <laughs> Ah, uh, I don't like save scumming to like get lucky outcomes. Like I, that, that's also I like I like playing in the Civ Hall of Fame, at least the Civ Four Hall of Fame. Um, Civ Five kind of botched the rules there, irreparably. But that's another matter. I need two moves. Okay, to get away from them. But the reason I don't do it as much as I could have, or I didn't do it as much as I could have is that I you know I don't like the to the safe scumming and really Hall of Fame is some part skill and a lot of part safe scumming there's no way around that oh I attacked the wrong group there now all I can just beat on the bigger stack with these guys and oh I have to be careful here <laughs> run away yeah, but way, way too much of it is not skill-based. You need a lucky map, too. You basically need to be both extremely skillful and get a lucky map to compete with the other people who are actually are skillful, and they are willing to re-roll until they get a lucky map. That is a problem. Because <laughs> that makes the barrier to playing it much worse. There were some situations that could have mitigated the impact of that, but they chose not to do them, so... That's okay. We were in a Heroes of Might and Magic 5 Let's Play. And I'm really just killing time until I kill off all the Earth Elementals properly this time, and not because of my own lack of calculation type skill. Expert Destructive is tempting, but you only get two things from Expert Destructive. And those two things are um, Armageddon, which is not completely useless, but close to useless in campaign. And Implosion, which is great, but 
not overly commonly needed at this point. So I'm going to take Pathfinding because I'm going to deal with rough terrain and Pathfinding is nice to have. Okay, we have a Keymaster. Good. <laughs> that turn actually wasn't a disaster this time. How about that? <sighs> so much for the week one rush. I think if I ignored everything, I still wouldn't be able to pull off a week one rush. So let's see if we can pull off a week two rush. So, recruit. Oh, can I build an upgrade? I cannot. Okay, recruit. Everything. Can barely afford. Interesting. I, well... Yeah, take these along too, just so you don't have to give up any of the other troop types. And then just pass it all over. Oh well. I should have upgraded those and I didn't, so... Okay. How about you, Raylag? I'll probably get stalled eventually, so, you know. Fighting things. Ooh, a throng of hunters! And lots of succubus mistresses. What are my other options here? It's interesting. <laughs> we suddenly have real fights again. Just when I was saying that the fights looked easy. Well, that's fine. I'll just wait for reinforcements. Ooh, Dijin. I'm actually going to want to leave the Elephant Lady like that, I think. But before I do that, we'll just upgrade the Minotaurs. And I guess we'll take along some Wizard Troops, just that they're not clogging up town. Man, these low-level heroes, they are not fast. Griffins, too. Where's my enemy? I should be able to take this if I'm careful. The Jin are kind of strong, but... Well. What can I say? Hmm. I wonder if I have enough magic oomph to do this with just magic. It's a possibility. But I think what I will do is I will suicide a scout. Or, you know, if they want to ignore it, I guess that's fine too. And otherwise, uh, just use my hydras. Oh, they clumped up in one stack. That's dangerous. Wish I knew that was going to happen. I would have put down the second assassin. No, but seriously, this is bad. Chain Lightning. Meteor Shower got kind of lamed. They really nerfed it down. Oh, well, I guess that... Well... Oh, okay. <laughs> if that's how you want to roll with it. Wow. I mean, I guess. <laughs> that 
that one ends up being much easier than it should have wound up being. And we will claim our prize. Yeah, I have enough mana. I, I can take out the vampire lords. I mean, that's just silly. Oh, it looks like I need to get through the griffins, too. I don't think the griffins will be difficult, either. Not really. Can I hire another hero? Elaine the peasant lady. Yeah, but I'll do it next turn. I'm gonna wanna set up a relay. Man, it's gonna be a long relay. Nope. We are once again going to use everybody's favorite unit. Clump up, clump up. There we go. This isn't even that expensive of a spell for what it'll do for me. Which is dealing death. <laughs> now that smarts a bit though. Ah, if I can conserve mana, I want to. I feel like once I get them down low enough, they're not going to be able to kill me anyway, so... I'll just out heal. I think the uh, level up initiative penalty is starting to show here, too, because normally Hydras don't keep up an initiative this well. <sighs> they're such nice units. I admit to adoring the Hydras. And you thought Mass Hydras was dead after StarCraft 1 stopped. I might as well kill the Master Hunters. Maybe even the Succubi. Oh. Oh, is Orange over there? Looks like Orange is over there. I feel like I should be pushing harder to get my attack off. Well, whatever. What did that put me up to? Nine Hydras? Against the throng of hunters? With my kind of mana, it's probably doable. But I just run down here. And you can hire a new hero. Peasant lady is fine. Okay. So the real question is, do I want to set up like a four hero relay? Literally running the underground in a single go. I think my answer to that is yes. But actually, you wait a turn. Wow, she's learning a lot. <laughs> I guess they all would. So these relays are really going to save me time. <laughs> as painful as they are. <laughs> and they are painful. There's a reason I always went for Town Portal in my Heroes of Might and Magic 3 Let's Play. But at this point, <laughs> it's not really doable, is it? So... Okay. Get some of them, them... Oh, well. There we go. You can hop back down. I'm not sure. I 
I'll worry about hiring additional heroes for that chain later. Let's kill some hunters. But preferably without losing too much. Oh, I have two sets of raiders, pointlessly. Oh, they're all in one group. Well, that makes my multi-targeting spells a little bit less fruitful. Oh, I kill quite a few of these. Yeah, let's just drop a nice bolt on them. And more ice bolts. And now I'm out. Yick. Man, I have evasion too, so this is actually pretty incredible that they're uh, working me this hard. I should be able to outheal them now, though. Oh, but it's a question of, um, before killing them at this point, isn't it? Maybe I should have considered haste or something. It's not like I can outrun them. I don't know why I'm even bothering. Don't, don't even bother. Shoot. I'm gonna lose hydras on this. Well, that sucks. Elemental Vision allows a warlock to see elements on enemy creatures that destructive magic spells can inflict additional elemental damage. This is actually a useful ability. And we are taking it. Other than this. Okay. Man, I could use some mana. I wonder. I mean, that looks like a path to me. We're gonna try it. Okay, end turn. Watch them just teleport into my face. Oh, lots of vampires. Quaint. And you, Miss Knight. You can go like so. Which means I will need yet another hero in this chain. Oh. Never mind. I cannot hire more heroes. Well, that's not ideal. That means I'm going to have to run them back <laughs> in the intervals. Really? I can only have four heroes? I think you can have more if you have more towns. But okay. In that case... <laughs> Lots of pointless micro inbound. I'm not sure what that'll help, but I'm doing it. What is up there? I want to see. Lots of hell chargers guarding a gold mine. I feel like that would be nice, but killing orange would be nicer. I don't think I need to lose. I, I think I can avoid losing. Well, I know I can avoid losing hydras on this fight. Oh, I just killed the music somehow. There it is.
<laughs> These guys don't mess around though. Stop it! Man, I never thought I'd love fighting vampires so much. It's weird what you prefer to fight depending on your creatures. There's just some matchups where this would be hell. I only had seven to begin with, right? I think so. Looking good. 